My name is Evie Mutesia and I'm a student at Nova Pioneer in grade 7 and I'm 12 years old. I think that children are especially affected by climate change because they are going to be the adults of tomorrow and they're going to bear a big burden of the effects of climate change. Um, another example is that is about FGM, which stands for female genital mutilation, by which the female genital is cut. For example, if a if there is a drought and a cattle dies, then a girl may be forced to may be sold by her family to an old man so that the family can get some money in return. So this girl is gonna have to marry a man that's way older than her and she may be forced to drop out of school. I think that it's important to include children about the conversation in climate change because excluding them isn't reasonable. Because first of all, children, they can come up with very creative and innovative ways to solve the problems and effects of climate change. One example of this is in the book called The Boy Who Harnessed the Wind by William Kampwamba. So this, in this book, they don't have access to power in their community. So what William did is that he found a way to harness the wind and provide uh, power for his entire community. I think that children can make a very big impact on tackling climate change. First of all, if children get involved into the conversation involving climate change early on in their life, for example, planting trees, like one of the people said in the climate summit, these children can grow and understand to love trees early on in their life so that as they are older, they understand climate change in a deeper depth. From the summit, I, I learned that like no matter your age, you can always have an impact on, any, on a certain cause, for example, climate change. If, if you put in the determination and the hard work, an effort into a cause that you're passionate about.